Soon, Philips Hue is going to force us to upload our data to the cloud. I'm not really happy about this. Let's talk about it. This video is sponsored by RoomSense IQ. More about that later on in the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Geo from Smart Home Makers. I have been a Philips Hue user since the very beginning. My first smart article was a Philips Hue light bulb and I've been using it and it's been consistent, although expensive, but also very reliable. But today we're gonna to look at some news on the Home Assistant blog that talks about Philips Hue and their new data privacy policies. The Zigbee Philips Hue bridge allowed you to use all of your devices locally. And also you never actually needed to sign in and create an account and upload all of your data to the cloud. But things are changing. Signify says we're, like, we're gonna still be able to control things locally, but the privacy policy, which we're gonna read on later on in the video, allows them to store your data and share it with relevant partners. Even now, you could have created a Philips Hue account, and maybe many of you do have an account, and you're able to control your lights from outside of your home. However, if you are concerned about your privacy, you probably are a Home Assistant user also, if you're following my channel. And if you're not, and you don't know what Home Assistant is, you can find out in the link in the description down below with my free Home Assistant course to get you started. But you didn't have to create this account, which is the major difference so now it seems that Philips Hue is going to force anyone to create an account. Home Assistant actually challenged them publicly and you can see the uh, questions back and forth with Philips Hue and actually, uh, again, they just refer back to the policy. So what can we actually do to, to counteract this? And this could be a bit of a pain is that you could take all of your Zigbee bulbs and pair them directly to a Zigbee controller in Home Assistant. I'm gonna put a video somewhere here or at the end of the video where I showcase how I've actually done that with other manufacturers' bulbs. Or you just literally accept the fact that they're just gonna start collecting your data and live with it. But for you to make an informed decision, we need to dive deep into the privacy policy. Now, all hope is not lost. Signify, the company that holds the Philips Hue brand, have reversed bad decisions in the past. Back at the end of 2015, they wanted to ban third-party Zigbee bulbs to work with the Philips Hue bridge. So they were actively making changes to block those third-party bridges and Clearly the main reason for that was security and reliability of their system. That would have clearly tied in a lot of users that love the Philips Hue brand, um, but can't afford to expand their smart home because they're quite pricey, the bulbs, then they would have been pretty much locked in into that ecosystem. Luckily on December 16th, they reversed that decision. And as of the making of this video, it's still possible to use third party bulbs with the Philips Hue ecosystem or bridge. A quick word from the sponsor of this video, RoomSense IQ. Introducing RoomSense IQ, the first modular room monitor for presence-based home automation. Imagine as you walk around, your home seamlessly provides services and automations all around you, such as lighting, cooling, or playing your favorite music. RoomSense IQ employs a fusion of cutting edge MM wave radar technology and a PII motion sensor, allowing it to accurately detect your presence in the room. Furthermore, climate sense as an add-on can accurately measure up to 10 distinct airborne parameters such as CO2, tiny particles and carbon monoxide to guarantee the quality of your indoor air. All of these accessories are available through Home Assistant. So Room Sense IQ is the future of home automation, putting you in control of every aspect of your living environment. If you want to know how you can access this incredible product, go to their website www.roomsenselabs.com and subscribe to receive an email notification when this product drops. It's time now for the privacy document. There's a link in the description down below or on a Home Assistant blog if you want to read this yourself. But I'm just going to point you to some of the key points here. So we have this page, when do we share your data? This price part seems quite comforting. So we never sell or rent your personal data. We also do not share your personal data except in the limited cases described below on a strict to no basis. So far so good, but let's actually look at the strict to no basis. What does that actually mean? So we're talking about Signify affiliates. So these are other companies that are affiliated to Signify. Do we have a list of these companies? 
I wasn't able to find them. Due to our nature, global nature, you might be shared with certain signifier affiliates, okay? But on a need to know basis, why? I don't know. There are other businesses, for example, that have outsourced some of their activities to trusted partners like payment providers, shipping providers, and this is pretty much standard. So a company can have a third party company and they might need access to your personal data to do their operations. Public and governmental authorities. So when the, this is required by the law, um, your data might be shared with your government. Professional advisors um, like banks, insurance companies, auditors, lawyers, accountants, and other professional advisors. And this is gonna be weird because it's like, why do all these people need to know when my light bulb turns on or not? Other parties in connection with the corporate transactions so in cases like this company gets bought out or they merge together. Third parties in the Philips Hue ecosystem. Products and services complementing the Philips Hue ecosystem and friends of Hue. So this could be, for example, my, from my understanding, for some sort of upsell. Now, it also talks about transferring your data abroad if you're concerned about that. But this is also quite interesting, the California Privacy Disclosure. So it actually gives you a bit more of an example of what type of data you can expect them to share with other people. You can see the category, the example, the yes or no, if we, they're collecting or not, and then to who they disclose it to. So this really will give you an understanding. So it gives you this information, the real name, your alias or postal address, your unique personal identifier, which is fine, okay, your internet protocol address, your IP address, email address, account name. So yes, they're gonna send that to their providers. This is more comforting. So telephone numbers, bank account, credit card information, social security numbers are not gonna be disclosed. So there's a no. So that's sort of protected and stays within Philips Hue or Signify actually. Commercial information, records of products or services purchased. So what did you actually buy on the website and the services that you've purchased? Yes, that will be shared with affiliates. Biometric information will not be shared like your fingerprint, your face print, voice print, retina scan, uh, not shared, which is good. Uh, your browsing history, your search history and information on the consumer interaction website, yes to affiliates, physical location, this is very interesting, or movements or the location of your device on your computer, so you, basically where your house is. And yes, of course we're gonna share that with affiliates. So this could be one of the most disturbing ones actually. Sensory data, so the audio, electronic, visual or similar, yes. Uh, and other vendors mentioned, which are the ones we talked about earlier. Job history, no, other stuff, no. Uh, profile reflecting preferences, person's preferences characteristic, yes. Personal information that reveals account, login, password or credentials, yes. And yeah, that's it really. So this is like the full list. So if you are very concerned, let's say that you've already shared your data with Philips you and you're deciding that after this video, you got to sell everything or, or move it offline completely. And it, it is your, one of your rights under the GDPR law, you have some rights. For example, you have rights to know um, something called like a subject access request. You can ask. So you can ask Philips you to share all of your data, all of the data that they have on you specifically. You have the right to be deleted. Clearly that means that you can't use the service anymore. So you can ask Philips you to wipe out all of your data that they hold on you. Now over to you, I want to really understand where do you sit on this conversation? Are you very worried about what Philips you have done? Are you concerned? You don't really care? Although even if we've gone through exactly what personal data has been shared, let me know in the comment section down below. If I get enough likes on this video, I might actually request a subject access request myself and we might go into what data Philips you actually have on me. And I will share that safely, clearly, on this channel. Follow me in the next home automation video over here or here. Ciao.